It used to be known as Hot Lana. Now it should be known as Wow Lana. What an amazing race. It was a gorgeous race to watch these guys drive, 37 of the world's greatest drivers, to watch them yesterday. We saw a glimpse into what this race was going to be between lap 30 and lap 40. We saw Michael McDowell, we saw Kyle Larson, we saw Kyle Busch, and we saw Ryan Blaney dice it out. It looked like a dance for about 10 laps. It was beautiful. It was a work of art for me to watch it. That was a glimpse in where the race was going to go. Yeah, there were some accidents. Yes, there were some things that went on. But when it came down to that last lap, we do not have this finish without this next-gen car. This next-gen car is what made this finish possible. Also, Bubba Wallace made this finish possible. And Austin Sendrick. We go into turn one. Bubba Wallace behind Kyle Busch. Austin Sendrick behind Daniel Suarez. They get a run. They get a run. They get a run. Kyle Busch goes to the outside. Daniel Suarez goes further to the outside. They go into turn three, three wide. Bubble washes up, slows down the rest of the pack. So it's three wide, side by side. And with this car, because of the aerodynamics that we all complain about, they stall out and they come to the line side by side. Zero, zero, three thousandths of a second. You could throw a blanket over them. That's it. Nobody knew. Everybody called it wrong if you listen to the radio or watching it on TV. Everyone called it wrong. Daniel Suarez takes home the win in dramatic fashion. This photo is going to replace the Lee Petty, Johnny Beauchamp, and Joe Weatherly photo from Daytona. Yes, that's a historic photo, but this will be a milestone and a mile marker to take us forward in this sport.